Have you ever been inside of Odoo and for a report or for something else, you want to be able to combine two fields to make a new field? Maybe that's too vague a question, so let me give you an example here. We're going to pretend that we're running a very exclusive club where our members like to be addressed as their title and their full name. And we're going to make it easier for our employees to do that by giving them a calculated field here. Now, this is a simple example. We will get into more complicated examples in other videos, but it's good to get the basics down so we know how to use computed fields. So for this example, we're going to go into our contacts model. We want to make sure that we're in developer mode, and then we want to go into studio. Once we're in studio, let's go ahead and create our new field, which is going to be a character field. And we're going to let it run for a second. And then we're going to call this address as. So this is to tell our employees that they should address our customers this way. So now we have our new field. We see it's called address as and has our technical name. Now we're going to go into more. So in more, we have a bunch of different options here. The main thing that we want to do here is make it read only so nobody can adjust this after the fact. And we're going to take off stored for this example so I can show you how this works. The other thing we want to do is duplicate a tab so we can test out our computed field in real time. So go ahead and close out of that. And we're going to go into the contacts view and go to list view. And in studio, we're going to add that new field that we have. So go ahead and hop over to our existing fields and we're going to say address as and we're going to pull it up right here so that we can see it and then we're going to close out and that way we have a nice little tab to show us what's going on with our code the other reason i do it this way is so that i can see the code and see the result in separate tabs so that if something goes wrong with the code i still have it open and I can make adjustments without having to find some backend way to get into it. So let's hop back into our new field and make sure we understand a few things here. Dependencies are fields on our models that when they change, we want to recompute our new field here. In this instance, we're relying on two fields. So let's go in. We're looking at the name here, and we are also looking at the title. So let's go ahead and hop into Studio and we're going to grab the technical name for name, which just happens to be name, which is nice and easy. And we're gonna do name, comma, and then go to title. And title, I mean, those are easy field names. And title, so we wanna separate those with commas and have each of those there. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. So this compute is the code that needs to run for us to get what we need here. Down below, you can see that Odoo has added some helpful information here. We'd like to copy this and paste it for now. The only problem with this helpful information is that we're tabbed too far out. We only want to be tabbed in once here. Something you may notice is we're doing for record in self instead of our normal for record in records. The reason we do that is we're saying for every record in the current model, we want to run this code. So now that we understand these things, let's hop in and do a bit of code ourselves. So what we want here is we want to take our title so we're going to say record dot title meaning the title for the current record and then we want to put a space between so we're adding a space to our string and we're going to do record dot name and we're going to stick this into a variable for right now just to make our lives a little bit easier so we're going to call this address as okay so that's our first step now wait a second not everybody that belongs to our club has a title, so we need to deal with that. So what we're going to say is this, if record.title, and we need to tab this in so it's underneath that logic, and we're going to say else, and we're going to say address as in that instance is just going to be our record.name. So let's take a deep breath here and review the code that we have right now. We're saying, if for the current record, they have a title, we're going to create a variable called address as that equals record.title, so the title for this record, plus a space, plus then the name of the person on this record. Otherwise, so if we don't have a title, we're only going to set this variable address as as their current name. Hopefully everybody's following that. Okay, so now we've built our variable. Let's go ahead and set our field as this variable. 
So the last thing that we need to do here is bring our field name down, replace size. So we're saying this field on this record, we want to be equal to address as the variable that we created. So let's go ahead and refresh our second tab and see what we see. So we refreshed and we got an error. Some might assume that I did this on purpose, but I, honestly, I just forgot something. So it's good to have a teaching moment. So looking at this error, what we missed is it's saying we can't put this together because this isn't really a string. We need to get a string from here. So what we forgot is that our title is actually a relational field. So what we need to do here is go to configuration contact titles. And we need to look at this and say, OK, this is our title and we need to get our field name from here, which is thankfully name. So what we're doing now is we're going to adjust our code a little bit and we're going to say record dot title. And then remember on title, we want the name. So we're going to say record dot title dot name. And we're going to save and we're going to refresh again. And now you can see we have this beautiful field here. One last thing before you go and you're going to want to stick around for this because it's very important to understand. This field right here isn't stored, which limits us in a few ways. One of these ways is with filters. So if I try and come in and try and add a custom filter and I go to address, we can't see address as in here. We can get around this by setting it to stored, but that brings up its own problems. Going out to our second page, we see that address as now is blank. When we set this to stored, that field right here is not going to be recalculated again until the name or title changes if we set this to stored. You can see that if we go into Anita Oliver and change her from a doctor to a madam and save and then pop back out, you can see it does calculate, but for everybody else, they're left blank. This is truly a frustrating limitation when it comes to Odoo, but we have a way to get around it. We're going to lean on our good old friend server actions to help us out here. So we're going to go to new and we're going to call this refresh address as the model is going to be contact. And then what we're going to do is we're going to execute some code. We're now going to go back to our computer field and grab all the code right here and paste it right here. Okay. And before we create the contextual action, we need to say for record in records, self doesn't play very nicely with server actions. So we're going to save and create contextual action. Now we're going to go back to our contacts list view and first refresh actually, so that we get the action in there. And we're going to select all these contacts, go to actions and refresh address as, which cleans us up nicely so that now we can have this stored field and get all the advantages that come from that. So there you have it. A nice, clean, simple computed field. You can do a lot with these. Just be intentional about whether you're storing them or not storing them. And also stay tuned because I'm going to be doing some more complicated examples. And if you're wanting to strike out on your own, the other Python that I've showed you will work well here. So go ahead and check out those videos too. Thanks.